hopefully you're having a wonderful week and I am coming back to you again with another cooking video as you can see at the top peanut butter pancakes now I have a big one here already cooked and then I have some small ones that I'm going to do just waiting on this pancake over here so I can add it to this one I'm going to take that off. Now, when you see the bubbles at the top, holes at the top, it's ready for it to flip. Perfect. And you want to put it on medium to low heat with light oil. I used a little bit of vegetable oil. Um, you can use olive oil if you want. It's up to you. Okay, I'm just letting this cook on the side over here. While we're waiting for that, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to... Um, oh, the ingredients that I'm going to use. Now, I picked these up at the store. These are called FUD. And it's... Um, I don't know if you can see that. But it's Turkey Franks. And that's... I just took one and cut it up in here and cooked it for five to ten minutes um, let me show you what it looks like that's what it looks like it should be a little brown and you want to cook them on medium heat and just let them brown on each side and let's take this out and put it over here now i know one is lighter than the other one <laughs> Perfect, guys. I like the pancakes. It, it's the oil. I mean, the the heat that I had on made it a little brown. So, anyway, um, I have some white tea here in this cup, and the name of the white tea it says green tea, but it also it, it has white tea in it too. So it's green tea with white tea. Now, the ingredients for the pancakes. You need a box of this and you want a cup of this. Okay. Um, also, you want to mix three fourths cups of water. That's what you want to do in this bowl. That's what I had. Okay, and you mix it around like this until you have a thin consistency then you put it in the um, skillet or your griddle you can use your griddle as well okay let me wipe my hands because now we're going to take the peanut butter and the jelly and we're going to and the syrup i'm going to use the syrup too okay these are done now so i can turn this off I'm going to start by, and I also made some small pancakes. I think I showed you that already, but I'm showing you again. Um, so I'm going to take my jelly, my peanut butter, and my syrup. All three of those. I know, that's a lot of sugar. But we're not going to do a lot of sugar. We're just going to take the pancake. And we want to put them side by side. Now one is going to have nothing but peanut butter. And the other one is going to have nothing but jelly. About that much peanut butter. And just slide it on. Just like this. Come a little closer here so they can see. And just slide it on like you would on a piece of bread. You don't want a lot, you just want just a little bit, just enough to taste. Okay, next, I'm going to use, I'm going to um, put the, um, the turkey hot dogs that I cut up already. 
we'll put them in the middle. Just like that. You can make a face <laughs> if you want to. Just make a face for the kids. Or you can just line them up on there. On the peanut butter. All around the peanut butter, that's all you want to do. Okay, now that you have it all over the peanut butter, now what you want to do is take the jelly. Now this is Smoker Squeeze grape jelly. That way you can squeeze out as much as you want. I like this because the other way is like you got to dig in there and you just don't like digging like that. I don't know, this is really neat. This is something they came up with that's really good. Okay, so on the other one, you just put the jelly on, squeeze it out. We're not going to put a lot, just enough for taste. Okay, now you just spread it around, just like so. And once you spread it all the way out, now you just need to put more meat if you want to or you can just go ahead if you're not a meat person then you know you won't like this I don't think okay so since the meat is on this side just go ahead and flip this well actually it looks better this way I think okay mash it down and then you want to put another layer of peanut butter. You can slightly put it on there, not a lot, just a little bit. Because this is going to give the taste, it's going to make it really tasty when you put the syrup. Now, if you want to, you can put syrup on the inside to make it taste even better, but it's going to mix together anyway when you eat it. So you put syrup all over. Now I don't recommend this every day, okay? This is a meal that you eat once a month, okay? Not every day. Okay, so you can go ahead and garnish it again with a, another piece of turkey. On the edges, just like so. And one in the middle. Okay. And there you go. Peanut butter, jelly, turkey, pancakes. Sounds good to me. Okay. Now let's go to the small ones. Now, same thing, but only we have three. So what we're going to do is, we're going to put peanut butter again, and they go on, this spreads on really nicely, so, and I have Skippy, Skippy Creamy peanut butter, it seems to go on better. The other peanut butters, you can try them, but I think the creamy goes better than the others. It works well. This is already creamy, and you just put it on. Now I'm putting peanut butter on all of them. And this time, just one is going to have just the syrup, and one is going to have just the jelly. Peanut butter and jelly. Now you can add peanut butter and this syrup, that's butter, pancake and waffle syrup butter, if you want to do that. You can do that if you want to, but it's up to you. Okay, now I put jelly on that one, it's just peanut butter on this one, and then I'm adding the turkey. Let me Here. 
Yeah, let's look at both of them. Now, which one would you like to eat? The small one or the big one? Looks good to me. Something totally different. Anyway, I thought I would share that with you. Um, you can slice this in half if you would like and, you know, eat it the next day. You don't have to eat the whole, um, the whole thing here. You can just slice it in half or slice it in fours and have like one the next day, one the next day, one the next day, you know. Or, um, oh, that one fell off. But anyway, um, and on this, you can just have one for one morning, one for another morning. You can bag these and then just pull them out, warm them up, and then have them for the next day. But anyway, I thought I would show that with you something different because, you know, you sometimes you just get tired of the same old breakfast. So I thought I would share that with you. And... Of course, you need to dream and have some white tea to go with it, right? You gotta have something to drink with it. Usually, I have water, but I decided to have green tea mixed with the white tea. And you can find this at the store, and they have a lot of bags. This one has, um, I don't know how many bags in there. I just picked it up. Anyway. Oh, it's 20 of them. <laughs> okay, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Stay tuned for another video. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for stopping by.